Chris and I needed a mental health break from Project 4 freaking thousand because it's driving me absolutely insane. So I thought I would do a quick update on this Amiga kit, uh, 8 meg expansion dude that I have to take my damn board out for because I have to get this out so I can put a new FPU in it because they sent me one because I was told Oop, that was bad. Where's my prison bracelet? Hang on a tick and I'm gonna put my prison bracelet on. I have to get this turned out and I need a PLCC extractor. So you gotta get yourself one of these fancy dudes. It's got this little squeezy thing that pulls up and you're supposed to stick one of these in here and one of these in here and kind of squeeze and pops right out. Then you can take your replacement part Let's see if they sent me the same one. Uh, yeah, this one looks all beat up. Alright, so there's a little dot somewhere around the top right here. There's a little dot. And that goes to pin 1, which has a little arrow. So you know which way the hell to put it in so you don't go and screw it up. And you kind of do your best to halfway line up them pins and give it a squish and that's how you replace an FPU now I need to set this mofo on external if I get a yellow screen on this this time I am not going to be happy so I have the screws out of here because you know if this thing sucks eggs and you can't you yeah, can't get it in and it's like I don't know why I even have a case. Why do I even have a case? Because I can't get the card in. There we go. So, let's slap that there. Now when this is all said and done, I'm going to actually put this doohickey underneath here like it's supposed to be. Well, more like uh, something like that. That's good. How's that? How's that for insulation? But, anyway, that's not the whole thing. Uh, I want to test out this turd too because I got me this fancy uh, you know, I ground down this bad boy. And what sucks is, because I don't have screws in my motherboard, I, uh, I can't, I can't put anything in because every time I push on the pins, it pops out. Come on. So, everything plugged in and all replaced. Let's plop this back down. Now, let's see what we get. If this quick power is the power light, if it fast power cycles and the uh, monitor doesn't come on this suck. Ready? Here we go. It came on and looks like it's working. Woo! Now this is in 15 kilohertz mode on the Amiga crap uh, dude. But I think I'm in a higher resolution, so I might have to flip to the uh, OSC upscaler. I don't know what this is going to look like, and I forgot to plug in my mouse. So that is just awesome. Hopefully it's 40 megahertz. Let me plug in a mouse. Let me let it boot. Alright, so we turned it off, we're turning it back on. And I'm just kind of slapping this thing together. So I got a 6082, that's poo. So for quality control, I will put this in a box because I'll forget about it and then I'll reuse it and find out it's bad in the future. You know where that would work good? In that Apollo card that I'm not using. I have a crystal too. Hoo hoo hoo. Alright, still booting. We're going to be in this weird uh, buffered 24. 15 kilohertz to 31 kilohertz. I don't know what it is. We'll see in a sec. This, I think this will be my quickest video ever. 12 minutes left on my battery. Yeah, I could plug the camera in. Alright, so here we are with uh, no freaking mouse. Let's plug a human mouse in. I hate this damn I like this mouse, but it never works. It never works. I was going to reboot twice. So just save myself the trouble and use a DB uh, Mega Mouse. All right, so sysinfo, here we go. Uh -huh, hey, 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 speed, 
6882 FPU. This looks like dookie. I like it in the other resolution much better. And it's a 15 megahertz. Um, I did put that on external, right? I just verified it's 8 meg and uh, external. It's booting. I put it on the better uh, upscaler. Okay, so let's run SysSpeed. Whoa, I have no memory. Ah, damn it. All right, we got 8 megs of RAM. DFO is a non-bootable, it's a bootable disk. So FPU, 27.8. CPU, 14.2. Um, yeah, this isn't right, man. God. All right, let's do the AIBB. We're going to do the Boing Ball test, and we're going to switch it to SC Math, and we're going to do the Beach Ball. This will tell you if your FPU is working, if it draws at a decently fast speed. Uh, I'm going to put my screws back in. The Apollo worked better. And then we got no memory again. Oh my god. I am so disappointed with this card. Okay, so you have jumpers on here. You have external FPU, right? Where are you? External, right? Poof. 40 FPU, 40 megahertz. 6882. Uh, external and 8 megs of RAM, right? Yeah, external 8 megs of RAM. I'll even take it off and put it back on. 8 megs of RAM. Turning on, hard drive light is doing its thing, word for it, and no memory! <laughs> Alright, press return for 31 kilohertz modes, what do you got? Woo, 31 kilohertz, and that looks weird, okay. So expansion board diagnostic says it's working. My boot options, DFO, CC0, DH0. Yep. Boot. We're not going to disable CPU caches because I want it to boot from it. 8 megs of RAM, 2 megs of chip. Okay. Which Amiga? 27.8 megahertz. This is supposed to be 40 megahertz and it is not... 15. You suck. Launch AIBB. We are 6820, 6882. FPU clock is 35 megahertz. So our FPU clock is 5 slow, but you know what? It's working. Alright, third time's a charm. CP math for me. Beach ball much better. So that's about supposed to be 40 but 30 ish megahertz on the FPU. So that's me. 18.3 seconds. Coop rate. 16.36 seconds to draw. If I would have drawn this with uh, SC math, which is the uh, processor math, not coprocessor math, you would be, yeah, slow. So we're rocking at 35 megahertz down here. We have 14.3 megahertz standard CPU clock. Should run a little bit better. Let's see. Let's actually launch iGame. I don't have any joystick plugged in. By the time I get to this, iGame is going to pop up. Let me quit. Get out of here. quick. Is it loading? There we go. First fire to start. 
I have no sound hooked up, but it's working. Print screen to quit. I only put the AGA games on the 1200 because I can play everything else on uh, whatever. Now, there is one game that I love. It's Mega Ball AGA. I love this game. You've never played Mega Ball AGA? You need to. Alright. Click to continue. I think it's E for everything. E for everything. Makes it so much better. What is it to quit? F10? So that's one of my favorite games for WHD load, which seems to be working fine. I got 6.8 megs of RAM. Uh, let's see sys speed. If I can get sys speed working, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to do a system info and not run the CPU crap. So we are running at 233 megahertz. What? Um, I think it's 33 megahertz. Because it's supposed to be 40 and something's up. That can't be right. So let's let's try CPU. It's hit me. Oh god! Come on, sucker! From all of my other machines, this just goes. Brrr. Come on! Mm, man, that is slow as dirt. So 882.020 AGA OS unknown because this is an old program from 1998, but it's sys speed and I love it. It's pretty good. Minus the, uh, now we're at 9 megahertz. So 30 megahertz is what it was supposed to be. Actually 40. So I don't know why I'm at, uh, 30. Probably because they sent me the wrong FPU. But you know what? Don't care. At this point, I'm done. Got all my stuff I need for now. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.